Today I'm going to show you how to make a metal name tag. This is the final result here. So I'll show you how to uh, create this. So this name tag has a brass polished material. It looks like gold and it turned turn out pretty well. So I'm going to get started. I'll make a new file. So we're making a part and give it a name. Okay, so basically to add shape, we click on extrude, click a plane, and bring it forward. So I'll make my name tag about 50 mils diameter. And click OK. And the thickness will make it about 5 mil. And accept. I'll add a chamfer and you can drag this how you like. I'll maybe make it about 2 mil and OK. Now I'm going to add the text. Basically to add the text, you need to, the text on the curve, you need to define the curve first. We're going to draw on this plane and click that plane and we'll draw a circle for the text. Okay, so let's make this about, let's make 30 to be exact. And I also wanted to draw a line in the middle. So because there's two texts, one on the top and one on the bottom, we'll make two. And we want to separate those texts. So I'm going to cut the line in half. Delete that one and redraw it. And we'll make this one on the outside. I'll show you why later on. Okay. Okay, we're ready to enter the text. So to do that, basically, you go to extrude, remove material and we're going to remove from the the plane and just click on enter text to enter text you need to define the starting line so just draw a line at the start and so you enter your text here and to make it go along a curve you click this box right here and you click your curve and we're going to make that in the middle so that's pretty easy and pick a font I like I picked Spartan no, no. new graphics yep, this one turns out alright so we've got one text there and we'll make that around 6 and we'll put another text on the bottom as well so and we'll place on this curve here and the font was what was the font there? new graphics yep looks about right and we'll make that about 6 as well and ok so we have our text there, we're going to bring that up. So I'll make it about 1.5 recess. So just about that much. And we're going to go OK. So we got the text there and now we make the center hole. So we go extrude again and draw the circle. We want to remove material on the other way and OK and we'll put a chamfer here as well like that 1.5 OK now that's pretty much everything uh, nearly actually there's some a few more things but we're going to apply our material 
And I like the brass material here. We go to brass. And we're gonna pick a polish. Brass matte, brass polish. Pol polish will have a nice glossy look. So it will turn out pretty well. And we'll also pick a scene. And I like this scene a lot. This scene seems to work well, so double click. And we go to room and make the floor. Click this button to align the floor against the bottom of the model. And we'll click, do a quick render. So let's do a draft render first. So how does that look? Yep, looks fine so far, but these fonts, it's too sharp. We need to put a radius on there and it will create a nice blend between the surfaces. So, so basically you would just go to radius round and go through at a, at a 0.3 round for all the text. I'll just quickly show you, um, this will take a while, so I'll pause the video and play back. So if you add a round or a rounder shape, it will look a lot better. So I'll quickly go through and round all the edges on here and show you the result. So this is the top half done and it's round all over yeah we can add rounds on here as well round just makes it look clean realistic so okay so there you go that took took about five minutes there but we round all the edges now just accept that and we're nearly finished so we'll just do a quick render okay so just to check check twice and cut once so we just check it before we finish looks fine so far yeah, that, this hole might be better, a bit larger, so it's evenly spaced out. So we'll just quickly do that. We go to to fix up there. We go to extrusion. We we can double click that. I think, and we'll increase the radius twenty five. Maybe a bit more. Yeah, that might be enough. Okay, so everything's good. We'll just render it on maximum and I'll show you the final result. So I just put that on maximum and render. Okay, there you go. We'll finish. That's the final name tag design. So that's a really nice professional image. So it's great for design work or any promotional work. So if you're a design student, you can use this in in your assignments or any presentation illustration. So it could be a logo or just a graphical element. So what I show you today is how to, uh, one important technique is to add the text along the curve, show you how to add, ma add material, remove material, and how to round the edges that will help to create a clean, realistic object. So I hope you enjoyed the video, uh, leave a comment and like the video. Thanks a lot. See you later.